Yeah, hi guys. Here I am close to an installation we did about two years ago, you know, to do some maintenance, which is just to wash the panels and possibly add distilled water to this battery. Uh, if you can see, you may be wondering why are two charge controllers here. First, the inverter is a uh, 3.5 kV twin 4 volt system, and uh, initially they had this green charge controller, which is 12, 24, 48, and it's just 60 amps. And this also, which I later added because we use four batteries here and uh, we connect two series, two series, so that's one parallel to give us 24 volts, uh, 440 amps because each of these battery is 220 amps. So the system is performing poorly now because of the weather, you know, this is Hamatan and the panels are dusty already. So if you can see, this is giving about, okay, let's check this. Okay, you can see. We have about five panels on this. Each of the panel is 350 watts and it's just giving 12.1 amps. This also is giving around that amp because these have, uh, I think, five panels on them on it also. So this green charge controller is controlling two of these battery, while this black one is controlling the other two. So everything in total, that means the two charge controller working together on four batteries if each of these is releasing 50, this will be releasing 50 to each of the two batteries and that means we'll be getting 100 amps. Though it may not happen like that, but just saying it. So after washing the panels, I'll show you the results. This is before washing the panels. You can see how dusty they are. You know, these are polycrystalline solar panels and like I said, each of these is 350 watts. And uh, these have been in use for the past two years. So right now what I'll be doing is just to wash these panels. And now I'm done washing the panels. You can see how clean they are now. But one of the panels, if you can observe very well, have some bumps. So I don't know, maybe it's heat that caused that. So I'll take you guys down now to show you the result after washing these panels. So now I am down after washing the panels. Let's check out the results and see if there is any difference. You can see now the current coming is 20.4 amps. Initially we are getting uh 12.1 amp that means we now have difference of nine amps you see the more reason why you should always wash your panels once there is uh dust on your solar panels it will just be performing 30 percent or you know 40 percent of its total energy so here we'll be getting 20 amps or 20.4 amps we'll still be getting the same result here so the total amps coming to the solar panels will be 40 point something amps and right now we are consuming about 32 percent load the battery will still be charging while this load will still be consumed at the same time this is what is called uh a float or absorb charge though it's yet to get to that but maybe the next one hour or two hours to get to float it will be consuming from the battery uh, sorry from the solar panels while the battery will still be charging at the same time so don't forget to wash your solar panel this summertime period